Jeff, Boxing Media reporting live and direct in Liverpool with the champion Callum Smith. Hard fought fight against John Ryder. Do you just want to talk me through that experience? Yeah, it was tougher than I'd have liked, to be honest with you, and tougher than, than probably a, a lot of people expected. I knew what John Ryder was like. I knew he was capable of coming in, getting up close, smothering my work and making it that type of fight. I just thought I could have dealt with it a little bit better late on. I thought early on I was dominating most of the rounds. It was, it was pretty comfortable, to be honest with you. And then he smothered me the last few rounds and probably made the fight a little bit closer than a lot of people expected. But I always felt I was ahead. I always felt I picked a big enough lead at the start and I never once thought, thought I was losing in the fight. Tactically, did you expect him to come out the blocks the way he did? Um, I don't know, there was two ways. He's never been a fast starter. He's always plodded his way into fights and finished strong. And There's been a couple where he's come out quick and gone for it. And we were kind of prepared for both, but he seemed to come out and I don't think he threw a shot for the first two minutes or so, and he was just walking me down. And I think it was more just probably making me throw more than I'd have liked to and tie me down the straight. And I think that was the game plan. And listen, he come on strong late on and got on my chest and probably started believing he could win the fight late on and had a, a, a late push. But I, I thought I lost one out the first seven or something, and I thought I had a big enough round uh, um, lead. And, it's an, he's going to be out, feel hard done by, but I just don't see how you give him seven rounds to win the fight. He, he, he won a few of the late rounds by smothering me and getting on my chest, but I don't think he's done enough to, to, to win the fight, in my opinion. I mean, 99% of people would say that, that, that John Ryder could potentially not not get to the 12th, 12th round. You would, you would have finished him in six, but a lot of people were saying that, but were you surprised at the, the, the strength of uh, John Ryder's chin? Um, yeah and no, early on, it's not caught him, but I'd never really caught him flush a few times. I ate my hand early on, so my right hand was, took a bit out of play, but I caught him with a, with a, a few decent left dukes, and listen, I never knew he was, I thought, thought he was too chinny, I never knew he was you know, short, tough and sturdy, and I just thought a better version of me probably does take John Ryder out, I just, I wasn't 100% tonight, and that's probably why it was close, and probably why I say a lot of people are shocked that it was as close as it was because not a lot of people gave him a chance before and everyone thought it was a, a routine, easy defence for me. Whereas, you know, I think boxing's taught us over the years every fight can turn out to be tough, and I think tonight was one of them. Are you genuinely happy with that performance? No, not at all. Listen, that, that's more. I, listen, I feel I won the fight. I'm not. I'm not disappointed over. Oh, did I win that or not? I fully believe I won the fight. I'm just, a, I'm a perfectionist. Everything I do, even with the, the way I fight technically, I try and do everything correct. And I always want to do everything as good as I can. And I always want to perform to the best of my ability. And I, I was nowhere near my best tonight. And I, I'll, I'll be disappointed tonight just because of the performance. The win's always the main, main thing, but the performance is a big deal to me. And tonight wasn't the best. Even the champion with all the belts, it's still learning curves then? Yeah, definitely. Like A few boxes ticked. I've never been cut before. I got two tonight. One was quite a bad one, which I didn't know until I got out and seen in the mirror. But stuff like that, just dealing with stuff like that, no, no bad and a bad before, but you've got to learn to adapt. And Just boxes ticked. I'm still learning. I think every fight is always learning. You never stop learning in this game. And it'll probably stand me in good stead for, you know, in, in future fights, if I get a cut, I've been here before, I'll deal with it better. And... Listen, the most important thing, I could have underperformed and lost tonight and I could be sitting here as no, not a world champion anymore and I've underperformed and I've kept my belt. So that, that, I think that's the most important thing in the long run, the short term. I'm, I'm, like I say, I'm obviously just disappointed in the way I performed. I mean, obviously moving on from this fight, I mean, if you had the opportunity to fight either Billy Joe Saunders or Canelo, if you had to choose, if the two offers were on the table, which one would you go with? Canelo, I think, think Saunders has picked the same as me and Canelo on the table. I think every fighter in and around our weight division wants that fight. He's the, he's, he's the face of boxing at the minute. He's the biggest biggest name out there and he's the biggest fight possible for anyone. Because of that, there's a massive queue to fight and there's a lot of people putting the name in the hat and it's just whoever, whoever gets chosen. And Listen, if it's me, it's me. If it's not, if I don't get it and Billy Joel doesn't get it, then no, we could fight each other. There's, there's a lot of other fights out there for me. I just hope Eddie can deliver one of them next year. I mean, how likely do you think that's going to happen in the next in the next twelve months potentially? Hopefully, yeah. That, that that's what I want now. I had, listen, I had to fight John tonight. He's my mandatory, but, but no disrespect to him. But I want I want the the big names, and hopefully we can deliver them next year. Is that your dream to go to America, fight Canelo, and win? Then yeah, listen, I'd love that. That that's that's the obvious choice. Canelo in Vegas is something that no dreams are made of, and 
if it's offered for me, then listen, I'll be on the plane over there and I'll be going over there to win. It's chance of it happen, I don't know. We'll sit down ready and we'll see. Maybe after tonight's performance, they might fancy it a little bit more. But we'll have a little rest, rest my hand up, get Christmas out the way, and then we'll look to it for a big fight in the, in the in the next year. Well, congratulations on your victory, and thanks for speaking to Jack Fletcher Media. Thank you, mate.